Uh, Matt, wait, right before we get, we're going to get to Ecuador and Rojava in a second, a little bit of a global update before we get to the post game. But I like, um, so there's this dumb drama on Twitter. Hillary Clinton is clapping back at Donald Trump saying, don't tempt me to run again, to which I could say, please run again, because that will help Bernie. And also the the civil war between the people congregating around Warren and Clinton would be hysterical. The the level of the I think the clap emoji <laughs> application might collapse the entire internet. It's gonna be clap emoji on clap emoji. It is gonna be clap emoji on clap emoji on clap emoji. Um but uh you had a really good insight, though, about how Trump is being a mega cuck when he responds to Hillary Clinton. Yeah, anytime Trump uh, doesn't bring up Jeffrey Epstein in relation to the Clintons, it means he's keeping his powder dry, perhaps because he knows he's, uh, you know, implicated himself. I thought that, see, we were giving Trump a credit a couple months ago for being so demented or maybe just having amnesia that he was bringing up Jeffrey Epstein, even as there is literal video of him hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein, being like... Saying she's hot. Saying she's hot. (laughs) But he hasn't been bringing it up as much recently, including... And he's been beefing with Hillary. So, first of all, there's no conversation about the Clintons that should ever not mention Jeffrey Epstein or Haiti. And uh, why isn't Trump bringing it up? And just to spell all that of a sudden, out, are we getting like rational Donald Trump? Just to spell out why some people might think it's um, uh, unkind to always mention Jeffrey Epstein in relation to the Clinton family by appearing on those flight logs, whether he did anything or not. If we're being very charitable to him, uh, he laundered a world class sex predator and basically made any victims be like, "Well, guess what? He's on a plane with a president last week." That's I also a just huge have problem. To say, yeah, that's a huge problem. I also, I also just have to say, like, there was, I forget, I, I really actually find it embarrassing to quote my own tweets, but I made a point a couple of weeks ago because there was some big, you know, there was a big Clinton clap back saying like, oh, yeah, as if I haven't been investigated a lot or something. <laughs> and I said, yes, you've been over investigated around lies and conspiracy theories. And infamously under-interrogated on Haiti and Honduras. Mm -hmm. And I could add Brazil. I could add welfare reform. I could add, I mean, really just any number of things. And I know that, you know, this is going to be something that's going to frustrate so many people. Because I I notice people coming in from different times in the timeline. And I think, like, undoubtedly, you know, more people are kind of aware of our work than they were a couple years ago. And, you know, and like... I never advocated, and I won't advocate in this election, some type of uh, uh, protest vote. I think it's I think it is existentially important that Donald Trump get out of office. So that's going to piss off one group of people, and the other group of people that will piss off is like I, Hillary Clinton is not. It's not like oh yes, you know I don't prefer her because I'm progressive, but we all kind of want the same thing. Like no, the Clintons are monsters. Mm-hmm. They're monsters. And the leadership of the Democratic Party, in the broadest sense of the word, from Joe Biden and all of these other people, are, are in the main uh, disgusting. And, and, even, and even, frankly, some of the rhetoric of them being ineffectual is wrong. They've been extremely effectual at making this more unequal, more uh, you know, credit card driven, and actually, even before the woke rebrand, highly racialized country. I mean, look at the politics of race. That was embraced by Bill Clinton and Joe Biden. Uh, look at some of actually the rhetoric that was embraced by President Obama. In fact, you just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.